Hey guys, how's it going? Today let's play a shooter game called Operation Space Hog. It's made by Free Lunch Design sometime between 2000 and 2001, I think. There's not a lot of information on this game. I uh, can't even find it on Wikipedia, but I did play this when I was young. Uh, I think it's two player as well. You can play one player or two players. So it's got that going for it. And choose a uh, play one. So you can even play on the same keyboard, which is a really good thing to do because I, I usually play with my brother when I was young, so I usually go for games that you can play on the same keyboard. Anyways, let's go ahead and play. Play. Uh, you can choose your little um, character here, and each of them pilot a different spacecraft. Let's see, I'll just choose Viper, and this guy looks pretty insane, but unreliable and totally in <laughs> insane. And somehow he's um, a character to choose from. Okay, anyways. Okay, this is a little sergeant here. Alright, so uh, the controls here are kind of weird. I have, the first person, the first player has to use insert for some reason to fire. So I have to use insert here. Okay, other than that, you can tell that I'm, I can upgrade some different stuff here. So I can uh, upgrade. So I can like either save up the upgrades to uh, to upgrade a di uh, more powerful thing, or I can just upgrade right now. This is a uh, similar system to the one used in the Overkill. If you guys remember that game by Epic. Uh, an overkill it's the same thing, and this game is the same thing. You can either save up the power-ups to upgrade into something more powerful, or you can just upgrade right now. So yeah, as you can see in the top there, it goes speed, gun, side, build-up, missile, plasma, magma, option, and add-on. Let me actually restart. Because uh, I think I messed up that. Okay, so I'm going to select this guy here. Okay. Alright. But the problem with this system is, if you don't upgrade soon enough, and if you die, and I die in one hit in this game, and if you die, um, it's really hard to catch back up, and uh, the enemies are just going to overwhelm you if that doesn't happen. So I'm going to save up, I can save up to uh, get another upgrade, and then upgrade my side instead, which I guess is a sidekick. See, it's already kind of hard to kill these guys. Oh my god. See, I already missed, I already missed one of those upgrades now. So once you die, it's really hard to actually... Okay, okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm good, my side. Alright, now it becomes much, much easier once I upgrade. Okay. And I have to kill everyone to get the upgrade, just like an overkill. I have to kill every last one of these guys to be able to get an upgrade, otherwise I can't get it. And uh, oh, the graphics just went out. Oops. Yeah, this, this was definitely designed for like Windows 98, so... It's for the graphics are like, kind of glitched up. Anyways. Oh, these guys are really hard to kill. Come on. This is much, much easier with two people, you know? I think this is much better as a two-player game. Okay, I love it, I guess. Okay. Keep my upgrades just like an overkill. Alright. Asteroids. My side weapon is actually way more powerful than my main weapon. So I'm gonna use that. Oh shoot. How can I kill those things? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. This game is actually harder than I thought. I think the reason why. I got so far in it when I was a kid is because I was playing with my brother and we did two player. I think that's like the only way 
If you do like one play in this game, it's actually pretty hard. Just like overkill. You have to kill all of them to get the power. Even once it makes it really, really good. Oh, the first upgrade is speed. I see. Now that I'm dead, it's gonna be really, really hard. Okay, I got it. Kill them all because the asteroid blocks my way. Oh man. I used to, to kill this thing. You know what the problem is? It takes forever. So, yeah. If you don't have an upgrade, you're basically screwed. So, this game is like very, very similar to Overkill. Um, it's very similar to Overkill in that you can, have, you can save up the upgrade for something bigger. But if you do, you kind of uh, make it harder for yourself to get more upgrades, so it's kind of a trade-off. And if you don't get the upgrade, and or if you die, in this case, this, this game is incredibly hard because um, unlike Overkill, uh, I die in one hit from anything. So because I die in one hit from anything, uh, it makes it really, really hard to uh, keep the upgrades. Because when you die, you lose all your upgrades, and when you lose all your upgrades, then it makes it really hard to kill anyone later on in the game. So yeah, that is Operation Space Hog. Uh, if you want a challenging, pretty challenging um, shooter game, then be sure to download this. You can just basically search for it, Google it. Uh, it's not going to be on Steam, it's not going to be on GOG, but just to Google it, you'll find it somewhere, Operation Space Hog. And uh, yeah, that is all. And if you play with two players, it's a lot better than playing with one player. That's it. Thanks for watching.